Cool. So, um, since your uh, time at the Caribbean, uh, you have recently spent some time over in London, staying at uh, Valentine Manor, uh, Amelia's ancestral home on the outskirts of London. Uh, looking after the house while her parents are off on vacation in the south of France. The best part of the week has been spent sightseeing around London and shooting game birds. Hmm, quite right. <laughs> then one wet day, in fact a lot of the days have been wet, <laughs> it's Good. London after all, an invitation has arrived in the mail for you. Uh, there are four tickets for the evening performance of Macbeth at the London Palladium, but no indication of who sent them. A slip of paper states that the mistake. Oddly enough, the tickets are for six, 17B, C, E, and F. No D? No D. Hmm. Someone, we're going to have a mysterious guest. Well, the whole thing sounds fairly boring to me, but I imagine um, Amelia's going to want to uh, go, so we'll, we'll better go along. Okay. Uh, you'll head along, and it'll be, it'll be quite a, a, a well-to-do uh, well evening. People uh, dressed up quite, uh, uh, you know, and took... And dinner jackets, things like that. Kato doesn't stand out, uh, stand out at all in his, in his uh, wild man jungle getup. Raises a few eyebrows, but uh, I've got people a bow tie are... on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing else, just a bow tie. <laughs> bow tie and loincloth. Uh, people are far too polite to uh, to say it. Again. One second. Okay, and the curtain was just rising when a smartly dressed man with slicked back hair and an odour of foreign aftershave squeezes past you and sits in seat 17D. He says nothing until the play begins. The rumble of thunder as the three witches on stage begin their opening speech seems ominous and foreboding. Good evening, the man says quietly. <laughs> My name is Reginald Forsyth. I'm afraid I don't have much time, so I'll be brief. I work for the British Intelligence Service. A matter of supreme importance to the defence of this realm has come up. We've been keeping tracks of your exploits, Lady Amelia, and feel you and your chappies here are ideally suited to aid us. The Germans are. A long crash of lightning causes the audience to jump. Forsyth slumps forward, his head resting against the back of the seat in front. Those villains! They've murdered him! I'll have noticed. Notice rules, okay. Wow. Yay! Boo. Yeah. Kato's on the case. Uh, yes, Danny, you'll, you'll have a quick glance around and you'll think you'll see movement, but Kato, you will see leaving hurriedly from one of the boxes. Before you give chase, however, Forsyth, with his dying breath, grabs hold of Amelia, I think, uh, even though uh, Al's not here, uh, and uh, he puts his into her hand, gurgles, find Blumenthal in Oxford, tell him it's true, and with that he passes away. How do you spell that name? Oh, damn. I can write it down. <laughs> Sorry, what did it he say? Doesn't he, said... Really he said, find Blumenthal in Oxford. Tell him it's true. Isn't he a chef or something? Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going to 
give um, Amelia two points to you. What happened last time you controlled Amelia, but uh, I think uh, I think you could probably do with her. Just All ask right. a question. Anyone else here in Aaron's thing cut down a bit, or is it just me? Yeah, I, I am too. I don't know. Oh. Um, might I turn your mic up a bit or something, Aaron? I'm not sure. Or okay. put, put your mic close to your chops. <laughs> it is pretty close to my chops. I can't physically get it close. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, see what I can do. don't eat it. That'll be excessive. No, it's, a, it's like you, you're saying all the words and then there's like a wee blank and then the, your words all come out again. It's just like, you know, it didn't pick up your voice. Yeah, it sometimes does it on push to talk. It like fades. I've noticed, but yeah, it'll be okay now. I'm sure. Okay, let's let's see how it goes. Okay, well, um, I'm looking around. How's the uh, long crash? What's what's killed him? Well, look at him. Probably a bolt in the back of his head. I'm guessing. Is he shot? Yes, he's been shot in the back. It's gone straight through there. It must Bump be those. Forward. It'll be those pesky Nazis again. I'll look around for Nazis. Right. We run towards the box then. The guy's fled from the box. You've seen him fleeing from the box. Is the box up above us? And does that mean he has to come it down? Is. Are we downstairs? Um, you are downstairs. Yes. Okay, so run to the entrance and hopefully catch him at the before he gets down the stairs. As excuse me, excuse all, me, excuse me. Flee off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lots of excuse me's going on, which Amelia will definitely be saying. She's very English, so it would be, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes. Totally sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, just bear with me. I'm just going to put Amelia onto your character there, Brent. I like a funny feeling that Amelia's voice is going to sound like someone out of the um, dead part sketch or something like that. Kind of <laughs> Monty Python. No, what was he trying to say about my uh, powers of voice at Anyway. Oh, how can I add it? I've forgotten how I added to to you again. Just on the Allies page, isn't it? Oh, um, you need to drag her to the NPCs. You need to open up your NPC things. Turn her into an NPC by dragging her into there, and then drag the NPC version of her into the allies box on my uh, character. That was it. Well, go get him, Danny. Do a run. That's too smart. Go get him, Kato. Kato's the slayer of all things. Is uh, Kato running? On your character. Sorry, I'm running. And then we just need to put her onto the combat track as well, don't we? Uh, yep, you can stick her under me, probably. <coughs> huh? oh. oh, sorry, oh. Ollie's on the keyboard. There you go. It's all right. I think she's come on as her own one there, but I'm not sure. I have her now. So she's on the combat tracker as well. Oh, I can't see her on there. Um, unless she's hidden. 
the little eye thing. There she is. There she is. Cool. Um, okay, so. Uh, yeah, looking around, you see a man leaving from one of the boats. Uh, obviously, uh, Forsyth has and, uh, grabbed uh, Amelia, given her uh, uh, an object, and uh, got find Blumenthal in Oxford. Okay. And you will make your way out um, to try to intercept the man. However, you reach the exit just in time to see a black sedan hurriedly start driving around the corner. For the vehicle with an easy reach, within an easy distance, is a red open topped double decker bus. The driver is having tea in a nearby cafe. Sorry, buddy, we're nicking you. We're borrowing your buzz, boss. Yep, it's a number 42. Okay, yeah, I'm hearing myself. Uh, it's probably coming back through someone's speakers. Not my own. Yeah, no worries. Okay, no worries. Sorry, it was probably me. Ollie's been on the keyboard. So. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Ollie's loud. <laughs> so when you come up with like really cool moves, we'll know it's actually Ollie and not not you know you. Well, he seems to have written a uh, quite a big code into the chat bar. Ah, and babyish. Mm. Yes, I don't know what it means. <laughs> Impressive. He's going for a bit of pirate at the bottom there. Ah, sorry. That's where it is. Pirate only. Cool. Okay, you should have two pictures. One's a uh, street of London, because obviously we're going to go on to a chase. And the second is a London bus plan. So I just need to organise a couple of things and then we'll be ready to begin. What the devil are them there? Who's driving? Uh, um, I'll drive, says Lady Amelia. Watch out for bridges. <laughs> cool. We've got a little plan map as well. Little car token's brilliant, it looks like we're chasing the ant tail mob. <laughs> yeah. Strand at Charing Char 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 Cross, eh? Hasn't changed a bit. Nope, not at all. <laughs> that is London in the 1930s as well. Cool. Okay, so what uh, you'll see um, on the London on the 1930s map, I have put on the bus and the, um, and the fill and sedan. I'm going to put you guys on the London bus plan. Um, and uh, I have also activated several London thugs, although they are obviously all in crammed into the. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm gone. No, they're not.
Uh, there we go. Uh, there's the uh, I've activated the sedan driver there. So I'm just going to put you guys on the London bus plan as well. And yes, it's an old style bus, although it's open top. Um, you've also got the, the open back part where uh, the conductor normally stands, uh, letting people hit on uh, to go up the stairs as well. Uh, it has obviously got an up the stairs. Um, the only difference between it and a normal open top. So um, other than that, the, uh, uh, the bus plan is exactly to uh, how it is. So if you'd like to pop yourselves on the bus plan, wherever you may be, I've put uh, Amelia at the driver's seat there. I'll go Danny front left here. <laughs> Danny and Kate are up on the... Up. And uh, Brent there on the on the bottom floor. Cool. So if you're ready, then we will begin. Oh no! Wait, can I change where I am? Yeah, sure. I want to hang off the pole at the back. Okay. So Brent's pole dancing there at the back yeah. of the bus. In style. I mean, you'll be shooting one handed, though. Wouldn't the pole be on the other side? <sighs> details, details. Well, I'm going. Uh, oh, all right. I'll get back to the front. <laughs> you are right. The pole should be on the other side. Well, but it, it's the platform. Yeah, by the platform. Uh, there. Yeah, you should be on the platform there. You see the little white, little white dot on the platform. That's the pole. So if you want to be, if you want to be hanging around there. No, I think he's gone back to the left front. He wants to use both guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stay where I am. I want to use both guns. Yeah. Okay. So how it will run is uh, it's predominantly a chase. Um, so obviously we're we're going to be relying upon uh, Amelia's uh, driving. Now, obviously, it's a bus, so it doesn't really respond very well when you stick your foot down. Uh, <laughs> it does move, but not so great. Um, so what will happen is um, uh, basically the bus will move one square per success that Amelia does. The sedan being a little bit more, more nippy will actually move two squares per success that the driver oh. does. Be a bit challenging this. Let's hope we go first so we can actually shoot them before they get away. Lady Amelia is a good driver though. They've added these guys. I think it's three successes to be six squares away. No! The, the sedan and the Bus are only on the combat tracker just for targeting purposes. They are actually, uh, they don't actually have a turn themselves. So it's it sure. goes on the uh, on the actual captain's turn. So, uh, Danny, you're up first. I should. Okay, the car. You'll have a shot. Car. You'll have a shot at the car. I see uh, it's minus there. it's minus two because it's an unstable platform. Was the 
specifically designed for firing off. I don't so. think I can. I don't think I can use marksman in my first turn, so I can't have no, shoot that. You'll, you'll just come up. You, in fact, you as uh, Amelia's got it going. You'll. I missed. Boom! Missed. I'll do. That's okay. I'll take that. Okay. Okay, well, Lady Amelia. So we shall have a driving roll from her. She has got to uh, Benny's. So. <laughs> that Lady Amelia talking about she needs no Benny's. So that's going to be two squares forward. So she's she's plowing the bus along, keeping it in in sight. Oh, you've gone AFK, yeah. There, Bill. Don't think you can talk because he's gone AFK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone's beeping me. Yeah, I'm getting that. I don't know why it comes through. Never mind. Oh, right. back you back. It came up that you went AFK there, Bill. Yeah, I was just rearranging myself. It's okay. Oh, right. that's, that's good to know. Oh, terrible image now. <laughs> so oh. that's a raise. So it'll move forward. It'll start pulling away from. Uh, uh, from you there. Because obviously the bus just does not go around corners very well. Uh, Brent Hardcastle. Okay. Lock and load. Eh, who am I shooting at? Um, can I see people in there? Uh, you can try to go for the driver, but he has got hard cover. What about some of his minions? There isn't any minions in, uh, the, in the sedan, just the one guy. Oh, I'll just go for the actual sedan then, if I may. Okay. Forgot your minuses. I forgot the minuses completely. Yeah, minus two for the... Uh, um, so that uh, last four uh, won't count. Platform. Still 21 though. Yeah. You should be able just to adjust the damage dealt in the combat tracker to 21 to fix it. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it, I forgot to target that one. Hang on. I still forgot the damn thingy, so it's no raise. Yeah, four less on that, so that's nothing. So that's a seven, yeah, that's nothing. Uh, yep, yeah, you will damn. Uh, Kator. Yeah, Kator's just going to try and throw a rock at it. He's going to be ready to jump on when it gets close enough. Okay. Don't forget the minus two. Yep, I'll leave it at that. That's a miss. Okay. Cool. We will move on to the next round and find that the bus is passing underneath a low bridge. Not too low, though. It's uh, not so low that uh, uh, Kator and uh, Annie are going to lose their heads on, under it. Uh, 
However, the obstacles will come into uh, play this round as well. Uh, Brent, you're up first. Alright, well, I might as well carry on with that. That was fun. Obviously, it does the take shapes. So it gives its minuses to the handling. No worries. And um, what's the um, minuses I'm at this time? Minus two for an unstable platform. Oh, sorry, I don't. Uh, I've got steady hands. Uh, you're fine with them. This you steady hands this round. You did. You didn't have it last round. Oh, does, does steady hand also always count a unstable platform? Yeah. Right. So, well, don't okay. worry. Now I'll just take it in the chin. Yeah. <sighs> Have it. Just turn me blow up the damn car. <laughs> oh, I do. You do indeed. Uh, basically, you'll shoot it, and uh, I'm going to uh, make uh, a roll for the driver to see if he can, uh, in true A-team style, clamber out of the uh, the vehicle, or whether he's uh, going to be taking uh, a bit of a uh, a problem with it. I'll give him a agility roll, I think. Okay, I'll I'll let him get out, but he's going to he'll, he'll clamber out without damage. But I'm it's only a success, so I'm going to have him a bit shaken. I've I've popped him on the the chase map, even the chase isn't overly relevant at the moment, but. Uh, well, to a degree, it still is, and you'll soon see why. Because out of side streets, four motorbikes. I think you're wrong. Chasing behind as they come zipping out of the... Uh... I think you're... You I think you're saying there's more than four motorbikes. No, what's he doing? <laughs> How do you mean? He's just oh, playing oh, adventure oh, cards. Oh, right. I, I, I was looking at the screen. <laughs> Go get a new we'll, card. Uh... We'll get a card, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's basically a motorbike display team. The London bad guys motorbike display team will turn up. Uh, a couple of them will actually be, be up ahead and one of them will sweep the, um, um, will, will sweep the, um, the sedan driver onto the back of his uh, bike as, uh, as he tries to, to make a way with him. Uh, just hold on one and I'll just give you another adventure card apiece. Cool. I think we agreed that the, because this is a enemy card, I, I still get to play a card, isn't that right? That's right, yeah. Yeah, okay. Gives everyone a chance of better cards. Woo! Okay, just bear with me. I just need to do some more bikes. That didn't do that for me. <laughs> One of our weird scientists was here. Well, the good thing about this is uh, Mr. Ip-Boy can jump from bike to bike. 
Hope he's got good agility. Okay, and on each bike, you'll notice there are two. You've got them. Only the one guy that'll uh, pull him up to, to ride pillion. You say anything else, sir? No, I didn't. No. Oh, okay. What's Baker's to go? Yeah. I'm just uh, just sorting out thugs and bikers as we speak. Damn it. The extra adventure car's nice, though. Were London buses in the 1930s bulletproof? Was that right, Skill? Is that what I remember? Is what, sorry? It says, wasn't the buses in the 1930s bulletproof? Oh, most definitely, yes. So. Apart from if we're shooting out of them. Oh, it had one way glass, did it? Oh, right, okay. Okay, so uh, they should be be all on there now. I've kind of numbered the uh, uh, the bikers up with their bike with their appropriate bikes, so uh, that should uh, make life a bit easier as to who you're targeting. Uh, but like I say all of them except for the one have got a thug on the back. Uh, that one is obviously uh, you know the uh, sedan right the, the sedan driver at the front there. Got it. Okay, so, Danny Dare. Oh, there's an evil biker just below me. I'm going to shoot him. Right, uh, I've got to double tap. Um, how do I target the... Oh, I'll drop it on biker. Where is he? There he is. Um, there, because the bikes are so close, there's no negatives, is there? Uh, no, just the minus two for unstable if you've not got steady hands. Okay, I've got EM, so I'll take that off of that way. So I'll just do the okay. double tap. Okay. Yep, that's a hit. Hmm, shaking. What happens? 
That's my turn. Okay. If you want to move, Tom. Yeah. There was something weird happened on the screen when I was about to click a button, like a the blue writing stuff came up. Uh, Kato. Right. Kato's going to try and use his mighty strength to pull one of the chairs off the floor and try and throw it down in front. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to. Yeah. I think I'm going to need a raise there on the strength roll because they're not really designed to be nicked out. <laughs> I think it'll work. So your throw will be at minus two because I don't think you've... Well, because the unstable platform, but also uh, the fact it'll be an extra minus two because it'd be a second action if you want to throw it this round. Okay, I'll just rip it out this round. Okay, I'll have a strength roll. You need a raise. <laughs> and they come. Well, yep, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so there you go, Danny. You'll 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 see Kato just ripping the uh, the chair out of the uh, <laughs> out of the boss there. <laughs> I'm holding it aloft, getting ready to throw it. Screaming an ape. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so, Amelia. All right. The Duchess is up. Ooh, nice. She's, She's on. Absolute demon at driving, isn't she? Three squares. Oh, should she have plus two on that? She not got ace or something. Oh, weird. She's not got ace. Fair enough. Yeah, I, d I didn't think she had. But uh, but yeah, you. You're catching up with the where the wreck of the sedan is. Uh, oh, for obstacles, it obviously it just goes on Amelia's um, uh, card plus any of the bikers' cards. Um, so obviously it's just on a club. So there was no obstacle for Amelia there. Cool. Okay, so if you're done, I will uh, move on. Yeah, I think he broke that shake. And... Yeah, he did just about. <laughs> He'll shrug it off and uh, and rev the bike a bit more. Springs into action by the look of it. Uh, okay, that's just the that'll be two squares because the bikes obviously they will weave in and out of things a lot quicker than the bus. Ooh, he's he's doing pretty quick. Okay, he will get to the side, and basically, his passenger, uh, who is uh, Who is going to be London Thug number two will attempt to leap onto the platform. There you go. You see, this is this is why we've got the London bus the bus plan as well. So. Yep, he will. He will just about get on, but uh, he won't be able to act because he'll spend all his rounds sort of like steadying himself. But uh, he will jump on there.
UK. The thugs on the back of the other bikes will just be uh, uh, acting, waiting to try to get on. Okay, now then, as the uh, uh, as the, the bus goes underneath the bridge, uh, I'll have notice rolls from everybody. Um, Brent and Amelia will need raises. Danny and Kate or just straight notice rolls for you guys. <laughs> okay, that's what, fine. What? <laughs> okay. Don't worry, boys. Lady Amelia's got this. Oh, she needs a raise, doesn't she? Oh, she needs a raise, yeah. Well, I'll She's tell you what. a bit driving. Let's pop her a Benny. I can't do it, sadly. But she has a land, so that'll give her a plus two. There you go. Okay. Yeah, she will notice, and uh, she'll be able to shout a warning. Uh, however, there's, uh, it's unlikely that... Uh, our guys upstairs will probably hear it. They'll, they'll have to do a, a notice with a raise to hear it. Uh, but basically, as the bus passes underneath the bridge, four more thugs will jump from the low bridge onto the top deck of the bus. Didn't hear a thing. Yeah, Danny and Kato are too busy. Uh, Kato's too busy ripping a chair out, getting ready to throw it. Danny's too busy trying to uh, pop people off and shoot the uh, shoot the the motorbikes. Okay, so that will be these ones, and uh, I'll just give these extra numbers. Okay, they just need uh, a simple agility roll because it's literally just a case of dropping, but it's just timing it. Oh, I wish I had a card that made all the rolls one. <laughs> okay, so three of them will will land there quite comfortably. The fourth one, the the last one, will will miss time his jump and will land in a heap in the middle of the road. <laughs> and we can kiss goodbye to him. I think we can kiss him goodbye. So those three will land in there, and basically they'll spend their round getting up. And getting ready. However, uh, the, so the sedan driver, as luck would have it, uh, he a uh, great shake, and he will get on the back of that bike who will slow down for him to get on so he won't need an agility roll but that bike will be moving from stationary this round bike number 72 okay so uh biker number 72 won't do a uh, a drive roll because he's picking up the uh, the other guy so bike of 45. That's a success, so he'll go whizzing two ahead. Biker 73 is not so good.
Thomas Parker, 87. And obviously the thugs on the back backs don't do anything. Okay, cool. So, new round. Thug number one will hold his turn because he can't uh, quite leap onto there yet. Oh, it's put them all on hold. Okay. Um, well, thug number two is already on, so he will actually move along. Um, he will sprint. Try to, to reach up with you there, Brent. Which he does, and he'll attack you, Brent. Thug number two. The one who jumped in. Oh, actually, sorry, that wasn't him. That's Thug Biker number two. Ah, what am I doing? All right. <laughs> Thug Biker number one should be first. So he doesn't actually, he just needs to do a drive roll. So I put them on hold for no reason at all. I blame Durak. He's just put all these minions on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. It was a good idea at the time. Okay, <laughs> yep, he will pull up alongside the uh, uh, the bus, and his uh, um, guy will try to jump on. Oh, which he will in style, but you won't be able to wrap this round. Okay, so bike number two will just uh, ride off. Um, yeah. He just goes riding off ahead. He hasn't got a thug with him, though. <laughs> yeah. He'll uh, fall behind a little bit. Happy about these Joker wielding thugs. Well, the good thing is, it's the it's the bikers that are riding. It's not the uh, the guys that are actually on the bus with you. Yeah, he will get there, number four. So the thug that's on the back of his bike will try to jump on with you. Has he suddenly got all Mad Max? <laughs> I've always wondered what like a, a Savage Worlds Mad Max game would be like. <laughs> <A bit> like <laughs> this. this is this is as close as you've got as we've got to it. <laughs> yep, he will jump on, but he's only got a normal success, so he's not going to be able to do anything. So there's three of them that have gone on downstairs now. Number two will be able to do this round because he jumped on last round. Okay, so we're with you, Brent. All right, well, I'm going to um, spin round and say, yeah, uh, to damn Nazis. That's a raise. That's a dead Nazi, hopefully. <laughs> That's definitely a dead guy. Hopefully that's another dead guy. Come on. Yeah. Sadly, I'm shooting these uh, bullets. I'll do what I am. Straight right. boy in a seat. Okay, Kato, you're up. Right, so I'm going to move over and throw the ch the seat at the bike. Okay. 
yep, you, you'll see all these bikes clambering around. You'll see several guys jumping off the backs of some of them uh, getting into the, uh, the down airs. Where did Close. Kithar go? Hmm? Behind you. Right, um, <laughs> <laughs> what were best throwing ah, or just a throw? Um, yeah, just use your throwing skill. Um, minus two. Oh, Bill's gone AFK again. Please don't ask him what he was doing. Uh, yeah, minus two for the unstable platform. Yeah, sorry. I've typed in the wrong place for some reason. I'm going to belly that. Okay. Yeah, you probably killed that old daily. No, it's still a miss. I'm going to play this card. Oh, for... <laughs> <laughs> yep, you had an extra one. <laughs> oh, that's just... You can still use a Benny to change your original role. Just need to get a free now because you've got a one. Of course. So. Oh, fit. <laughs> Apparently, I can't throw a, a chair at a bike. Yeah, it's it's not weighted very well. You, uh, what will happen is Kate will stagger to the to the edge and. Uh, and obviously Amelia will suddenly quickly turn a corner as Kato lets go of the chair and as it bounces majestic, sails majestically through the air uh, and ends up smashing through somebody's living room window. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, he's doing well. Yep, that one's zooming off into the distance. Danny. Okay. I noticed that the guy he's got on the bike and we're really after him, so I decided to try and shoot him. Okay. So minus two. I'll bury that. That's a hit. Only a hit, though. It's only a hit. It should be. It was me. Cool. Amelia. Uh, she will. Um, she'll try and sideswipe uh, the 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 spike on the left here. Cool. Um, so I'll have a. Uh, okay, I'll have a. Oh, we'll do it based on your driving. If you get a, a normal success, you'll just move forward, and basically you won't have you won't have side swiped him. You'll have you'll have missed him, or he's dodged out of the way. If you get a raise, um, you will move forward and you will hit him. All right, let's give it a go. 
Boo. Oh, go on, I'll spend a penny on it. Okay. Oh, oh well. Then not that time. Yeah, it, it'll uh, whiz out of the way, but you'll you'll still move forward. Arr. Okay, so this is one of the bikers that's chasing you, so he's still he's still got his uh, passenger. No, oh, he's not going anywhere though. You're okay. packing tape for the thugs to kill you. <laughs> Sounds about <Yeah>. right. <laughs> so, thug number five will come charging down. Oh, he's going to have to sprint there to uh, to reach you, Kato. He only needs to move once, so I'll say that he's done it, but he'll be at minus two. And he'll he'll attack you with a knife. <laughs> yeah, and he completely misses you there, Kato. Oh, Kato, you're still on wild attack. Oh yes, I am. Yeah, take that off. I did, actually, no. You still missed. Okay, and this one will come clambering through. And he'll try to clamber over the chair there, so he's going to, he'll take the, his hard terrain, so he'll, he needs to get a two on the sprint, which he does. Ooh, a four, so I'll put him all the way through. Jump on the seat there and try to, uh, try to hit you, Kator. Um, I'll put him at minus one because of the, uh, but he's got a gang up. Oh, hmm. he shouldn't be unskilled. Doesn't matter though. And the last guy. And he's going to try to run straight down there. Which he fails to do. Okay, so bike is 73. Oh, he's the really slow one. Ah, this is the one that's on there with the uh, with you, uh, Brent. And he'll try to sprint to you, knife in hand. So it doesn't quite reach you. Okay, this is the guy with the uh, sedan driver is pillion. He'll start pulling away. And the sedan driver will break the shake and he'll hold on the back of the, uh, of the guy that's giving him the lift and he'll fire a shot at Amelia. He's hardly got any chance to hit because he's at uh, minus four for the cover and minus two for the unstable platform, so he's at minus six. But he'll have a pop at her. All right. Do your worst. Say words like that. 
yeah, he will comp- he will miss. It won't he'll probably not even hit the bus. Okay, he's just on the back of a bike. New round, and Danny gets the joker. Oh, guess what I'm going to shoot at. <laughs> hey, Tor, you can handle the guys and here. Yeah, guys, I'll just shoot this guy up here so he doesn't get away. Oh, hit him, but I'm going to Benny that because, you know, I've got a. Oh, I'm just not getting that number. I'll do. Oh, sh- damn. <laughs> You're determined to shake him. Doesn't it doesn't work on him because it's oh, shaking doesn't do anything. That was my go. Damn it, was worth it. Not worth it. Oh, I should have done my other thing. Brent. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take a shot. It's a single shot this time. This guy, probably against his parry. Yeah, ooh, I missed. I'll have a go with the other... That's a hit, though. I going to say that's a raise. Looks like it's enough. So there's three bodies on the bus. And is it out of shots? Okay. Okay, so by crate seven, he's still got a passenger, so he's going to try to catch up with you. He's getting closer, but he's not quite there. Yep, his passenger's gone, so he'll actually start to drop back. Uh, Same with him. However, he's really slow, so he's going to try to drop his passenger off. Nope. Yeah, you'll notice that a lot of the bikers are slowing, drop their pillions off, they're slowing down, moving away from the bus. Probably a bit wary of the fact that Amelia's just tried to sideswipe one of them. Very wise. However, this one still got his passenger. Oh, that's just the bike, so. Okay, this is the one with the sedan driver, so he's trying to pull away. But he's actually got an obstacle, actually. Uh, there's a clubs there. Somebody, <laughs> enough. Somebody tries to flag him down, thinking that he's a motorbike taxi, but he just whizzes on past. <laughs> he's on the back of his bike. Uh, um, yeah. You want to do anything about the card she's got? 
to what she's got. The Card. club. Oh, she's got a club, hasn't she? Well, she'll just have to... She gets yeah, she's on the clubs. Nine of clubs, bear with me. Okay. Basically, a truck will pull out to avoid a car right into the path of your bus. Um, you'll have a driving roll at minus one to avoid a head-on collision. Just... <laughs> yep. She'll uh, she'll skim some paintwork down the side as she manages to uh, to get the bus to to get the bus to so just normal driving roll for the for the chase. Doesn't now, unfortunately. Pretty good. Yes, just the one success though. She's doing pretty well, considering it's a bus she's trying to drive out she, through the streets of London. She is. And especially as a truck's just trying to hit her. Yeah, he's just on the back of a bike. Aha, okay, so he'll attack Kator. He gets a plus one. And that'll miss. And this one will attack you. And an eight, that's a hit. So he'll he'll hit you with the knife there, Kator. Oh, oh. But you're unharmed. And this one will go running past and he'll uh, launch himself at Danny. And he'll completely miss you. And Kator, you're up. You've got two guys stabbing at you with knives. Well, since it's close combat, I'm going to part my dagger and stab okay. the one next to me. Cool. Seriously, I'm going to belly that. <laughs> it's not your night tonight. I'm ill, that's my excuse. You can't come back from holiday and then be ill. <laughs> I managed it. I was fine all the way there. Are you trying again? or? No, I'm saving a Benny just in case. Okay. And a guy on the back of the bike will uh, break the shake there. And he'll have another pop shot at, uh, at Amelia at minus six. And he'll miss. However, this biker runs into a spot of trouble. Okay, as the biker goes, uh, goes racing through, a happy drunk is weaving across the road. Um, He'll uh, have to do a uh, driving roll at minus two to avoid him. So you swerve hard. Uh, 
Oh, it's a two for one offer. Yay! And he'll crash into the drunk the biker, plus he's uh, uh, plus the thug that's on the back, and and the happy drunk will was no longer happy. Will uh, all go uh, spinning, uh, colliding along, and uh, basically uh, it'll put them out of the as uh, as they end up it crashing into a load of garbage, into a load of the uh, uh, bins. I'll just take them up. Okay, and so Biker 45 is the one who's shooting away. Yeah. He's racing off uh, several streets away. He's basically uh, probably going off to report things. And you get the Joker. Wow, well, what about that then? Um, I'm going to... Uh, let's try and reload. And um, I've got to reload basically, it's really quite a waste of a joker. Um, but I'll... Um, I get a plus two to my agility I guess to do it. Which I do. This will go to Benny. Successful. You reload in style. Uh, Danny, you've got one guy in your face trying to hit you with a knife. Oh, Aaron, could you do me a favour, by the way? Um, yeah. You know, in, in the options, could you turn off uh, ring bell on player's turn? I usually have it on, but for some reason it's ringing the bell for me on everyone's turn instead of just mine. So it's doing me head in a bit. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that, but turning it off my. It's only doing it. It's only doing it for the vehicle people. For me. Ah. Is that on the options? Is it? Yeah, in options. Um, sort of towards the bottom. There's player ring bell on turn, I think it's called. Yeah, it's not doing that on every, it just goes through a cycle where it's binging on every, everyone. I don't know. I don't know, anyway. Okay, that should be okay. Thank you. I turned to Kitor and said, Kitor, if I told you to deal with these people, this one's trying to hit me. Oh, God. And let's see what I want to do. I had a plan, but for some reason, there's no more bikes near me. Yeah, a lot of them have, uh, have slowed down because Amelia was trying to hit them with a bus. And uh, the, when they dropped the passengers, there was no need for them to, to stay nearby. Okay, I'll shoot this guy beside me. Uh, okay. Do you work in this situation? I haven't moved. Yeah, you, you've not moved, so I can't see why it shouldn't. I'll shoot this guy beside me. Yeah, that's a hit. I am the famous shooter of shakens. And he shakes. Okay, he's on the back of a bike, trying desperately to catch up. 
Oh no, he's on the back of the bike that's getting away. Yeah, he's uh, on the back of the bike that's trying to catch up. That's it. And the sedan driver will attempt to shoot Amelia again at minus six. No, he's getting close. Okay, it's the thugs upstairs. Now this one will attack Kato. And he will miss. And this one will attack Kato. And he will miss. And this one breaks his shake and he will attempt to attack you, Danny. Oh, God, they're always breaking their shakings. But he'll miss. Okay, eight boy, you're up. Right, I've changed my dice color. I think this will help. <laughs> we can't do any words. Like Always that. helps. Boom, boy. There oh, we go. He's got better. blood red. Yeah, Kato's rage is up. Ugh. Although not fully up. You shake him. Okay. Yep, this is the one that's trying to catch up with the uh, bus. And he's getting there. There's there's one that's getting close to the bus. Yep, so they'll drop off. Okay, to make speed things up a little bit, I've removed them off the tracker because they will uh, basically they'll drop drop away from the bus and be out of sight. Okay, uh, Amelia. Amelia will uh, drive, I guess. Uh, not bad. She yep, didn't she... get a clubs anyway. Nope. She's managing to keep ahead of that one. Ah, this is the one you will probably go off. No, that's just the vehicle. Oh, have I lost driver number 72? Yes, I have. Okay, I'll do a roll for him as if it was the other, as if it was bike of 45, because otherwise that one with the sedan driver is just going to sit there waiting for you to come pick him up. <laughs> Actually, he is going to sit there waiting for you to come pick him up at this rate. Well, the bus gets a joker. <laughs> okay, so this one is trying to, he's going to get away, I think. Okay, so number 45 will zoom off into the distance and you won't see him again. So I'm going to change his number to 72.
Yeah, and he'll sit there with the sedan driver on the back. Let's get rid of these bikes. Okay, and again, he'll have another pop at uh, Amelia as he sees that buzz bearing down on, on him. <laughs> and and his gun will go click, 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 and he'll just glare at you, Amelia, as he sees you approaching, and he'll just go the gun at, at the bus and just urge the uh, rider to just get moving. <laughs> Although they're not the actual words he'll use. <laughs> yep, he's just on the back of the bike. Brent hard? Cool. You're up. Okay, let's see if we can take out this uh, pesky um, well, the bike that's just behind us. What's that doing? Um, there's a guy on. There's a guy on the back of that who's trying to. Uh, uh, who's trying to get onto the the bus, but he's the bike's just not quite level with the bus yet. Right, I'm gonna um, try and shoot him. Okay, you can go for the bike, or you can go for the rider. It's pretty hard to shoot the uh, the the guy that's pillion because obviously he's behind the rider. Let's go for the rider then, shall we, for a laugh? Okay. So, yeah, Th London Thug Biker 87, the one right at the bottom there. Got him. Any minuses for anything? Bearing in mind about steady hands. Nope. In any cover is on a motorbike. Double tappers. Horse. Ah, you got a wound. Cool. You'll you'll basically shoot him, and and he'll go down. So him, the, his uh, pillion will spill on, over onto the floor, and uh, he'll be uh, a, a, an absolute mess there. Yay. And then when we second shot, I might as well go for the uh, bike behind it as well. The one. Let me go for the actual bike this time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hit. Ooh, it's good damage. Yeah, that'll be enough. <laughs> yep, you'll basically shoot that bike and the, the biker and everything will spill everywhere. As you see carnage behind the bus, and uh, there's just, you can still see just the uh, the one uh, the one bike with the biker and the, and the sedan driver on the back. He's throwing his gun at the uh, at the bus, uh, and he's obviously urging his rider to to get moving. Cool. However, can I? about it. She can't, she's gonna step on it. Well, yeah. It's a success. Yeah. Well I say she's doing a good job seeing she's driving a bus around. Absolutely. I mean this guy's only on a motorbike, he should be well ahead of her. Uh Kator. You have uh Two guys fighting you, one's shaken, one isn't. Uh, I'm going to try and kick the non-shaken one off the bus. Ooh, nicely done. Um, we'll go for... Uh, is that some kind of agility trick there? Would you say, Bill? Or... Oh, he's gone AFK again. Uh, okay. Should we say agility? Yeah, we'll go for an agility check, though. I'd say you're going to need to get a raise over him. 
Maybe it's just the opposed. Opposed agility or, or opposed strength, I suppose. Yeah. Strength? Yeah, that's fine. Are you happy with a six? No. Okay. Are that's you happy with an eight? I'm happy with an eight. Okay. Uh, yep, so that's three. So, yep, you will get him over by five. So that's a, a success over. You'll basically be able to, to push him backwards and he'll be hanging on the edge of the bus for grim, for grim life, but uh, for a, a brief second. But eventually, your, your perseverance will will uh, succeed and, and over he'll go over the edge and disappear into the street. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, if you're done on your turn. Uh, Daddy. Right. <clears throat> J Tor, it's just attack of the one virus fighting. Oh my goodness, you're. Oh, uh, right. Um, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to pull out my knife and stab him and shoot him at the same time. So that's one to pull a weapon out, one to do a combo. So it's minus four, isn't it? Okay. Uh, uh, how about minus two? Minus four. Minus are six. You, I was going to say, are you ambidextrous? No. Uh, basically, if your gun's in your right hand, you'd be pulling your knife out in your left, so it would have a minus two for drawing, minus Another. two for left hand, yeah. uh, and then there's a minus two for multi-action, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. With a shot. Minus six. Yeah. So you, your knife will be at minus six. <laughs> you can do it. Your, gun will be, uh, your, gun will, your gun's just at minus two. Multi penalty action for the gun. Yeah, it's not turning the other. Yeah, so oh, your shit. gun's at oh. minus two, your knife's at minus six. <laughs> hey, I can do this. I think it, if you, can, if you can, do can, this, if you do this, I'm giving you a Benny because it's going to be very impressive. It's worth spending a Benny on it, then. <laughs> Better to get a Benny. <sighs> No, that's a, that's good enough. I feel like I did something, and then I, I get my gun and shoot him because he's distracted. That's only a minus two, you say? That's a minus two because it's multi action. Yeah, but unstable is minus two, that's minus four then. Plus, you gain it, he's uh, parry. Yeah, you're going to be at his parry. Um, but you can get rid of the unstable because you've got the oh, um, aim. I forgot. Yeah. Aim. You, st you still haven't moved. You just uh, uh, pulled a knife out. You don't. You can't believe how hard it was for me to type in minus two. I kept on adding twos to the number inside it. I was going up two hundred and forty-two or something. <sighs> Here we go. Uh, Are you cool, <laughs> I saw the dice re-roll again, I thought, oh my god, I'm going to get a, a reassault, and then, no. <sighs> my turn is over. And he is so frustrated. And the one with you, Kato, will unshake, and he'll attack you. And he will hit. Would you like to soak? Uh, yeah, I'll soak. And you successfully soak. Okay, and he will attempt to knife you after <laughs> after.
after the uh, the confusing array of uh, knives and guns that, that uh, appeared in front of him there. <laughs> But he completely misses. You must have put him off. Plan worked, sort of. Okay, and the next round. Oh, the <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. he's. Um, I don't think he's anywhere to be seen. Number three. He's the one who uh, attempted to on to bug, missed his jump. So I shall move swiftly on. And we are back with number five, who is the one who's fighting Kator. And he misses. And number seven will attack, um, attack you again, Danny. And he will hit. He's recu recovered from your momentarily momentary uh, distraction and he will lunge at you with the knife and he will get he will he will hit you is fog five beside me um i've not been counting him as being beside you no. okay that's just, fine. Number, just number seven and you're shaken i feel so shaken danny oh sorry kato Okay, I'll knife the guy. Nothing. Yeah. No bammies. Danny, you recover from the shake. Yeah. Embroiled in a fight here with the, with with this thug. Obviously, if you were. Uh, want to stab and shoot this time your stabbing is only going to be at minus four because you're not going to be um okay. oh it's no it won't it'll still be at minus minus two for multi minus two for off yeah it'll just be at minus four because you've uh, already got it drawn i say Kitter, i remember the days when you could take on like 10 germans and kill them easily and it's only like two two of these things and you can't even do it i don't know what's wrong here I had too much champagne pre uh, theater. Uh, I'll knife this guy for. This is drunk case or fighting. And that's a miss. Exactly um, the same miss as last time. Um, and I'll just shoot him minus two. I know I'm making this hard for myself, but. It's worth it! Oh, I think that's going to do it. This is my last bullet, so by the way, I'm the con. <laughs> Will I reload? Joking. That's good yeah, enough. That was it. So I, many, many ones. Ones, and I thought, oh my word. Okay, I'm out of bullets. I'm totally reload. And turn over. You've done it already. I was thinking there can't be any more actions going on there. <laughs> oh, at last he starts pulling away again. And so, Amelia. All right. I've actually been here for ages. Forgot. Let me AK thing on. Um, right. So, Amelia will uh, put the foot down, pedal to the metal style, I think now. Take a few chances. I remember the days when you were good at ro ro uh, driving. Check this out. It's alright. Has she got any bennies left? Um, she should have one. Uh, because I've used up two, but obviously it's put her as an NPC, so she's only got two from that. So I'll I'll say that she's got another one. Okay, she'll spend that then, she gets to land on it. Okay. So, you guys shoot that, are so careful. Just do a plus two. I've already moved you on one, so if you 
get more than that, we'll make an X so we can move another one along. You should get one more extra. It's worth it. Yeah. That's cool. So that guy's still not going still not going yet. Remember he's the shooter as well that's on the back of that bike, so Don't worry, Brant's up soon. And speak of the devil, he's up now. Alright, so I'm gonna um is the guy in front shooting at us, yeah? No, because his gun jammed, and so he just threw his gun in disgust at the uh, <laughs> at the bus, and, he, and urged his urged the, uh, the the rider to just move on because this bus is bearing down on him. Okay, I'm going to um... be driven by a crazy the guy that is shooting all over the place, people fighting on top of it. Them guys up there are fine. I can't see what's going on anyway. I'll just shoot the guy at the uh, in front of us. <laughs> Only just. Well, that was a bit lame, wasn't it? I'll have another go. You could use your no mercy. Well, I could, but oh, well, that's me other go. That got him. He'll attempt to soak him. He's actually the wild card. I've not actually used a berry for him. Hold on then. In that case, I will use me no mercy. Okay. So we get to our due race. Yeah, I was just doing that. I nearly well. threw it without. Good job of dead. Because, ooh, <laughs> check out those sexies. There you go, no mercy for the win. Well, he may as well try to soak it, because he's got nothing better to do. Oh. There's three of them. That's going to soak three of them. Um, I'll give it another go. I don't think he's probably going to get better than that. But no, I will just soak the three. There's a very important reason why I'm going to do that. Oh, he's broke his shape anyway. That was the reason why I was going to do it. it broke the shake and didn't fall off. Just didn't just fall off the back of the bike. Ah, uh, yeah. So Amelia. All right, she's going to try and catch up. Getting a couple of raises. Here it comes. Oh, oh, well, one raise. Pretty good. He's getting closer. He's going to be urging the guy on in front of him. Meanwhile, Kato. He's going to try and stab again. I'm getting angry now. Wild attack. Yeah. That's the spirit. That's better. The hit with a raise. There we go. Yep, you will take him down. That'll do. Okay, this oh. biker will try to uh, try to zoom off into the distance, try to to get away. But he won't. He yeah, jumps on the back of the bike that's got the worst rider in the world. <laughs> it's like just not past a driving roll at all. <laughs> The guy who's being caught up by a bus. <laughs> hey, don't blame him. It's his first day on the job and he only just learned how to put the key in the <laughs> ignition. 
yeah, he didn't realise that's why the guy had no pillion because everybody had ride on the back of him. <laughs> Okay, Brent, you're up. All right. Well, let's see if we can uh, finish the job I started. Oh, that's a hit. I'll show him no mercy. Oh, you. Okay. No worries. Should have raised um, it to a wound, maybe. Oh, it depends whether it's put there. Oh no, it's one wound. Yeah, I'd really, I'd really put the shake on, but it is one wound anyway. That is, because his toughness is um, five. Is he going to soak it? Is five. So he will attempt to soak it. Oh, which he will fail. And then my second shot, lad. And for the double tap. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, that will. That will kill him. Ta. <laughs> yep, you'll shoot him off the back of the bike. And the, the other biker will turn around and he'll just like stare at the buses coming and stand there with his hands in the air <laughs> dropping his keys and everything as he's fumbling around this is the death bus uh, this is for me to be able to stop the bus sometime <laughs> wow I will, I will just reload then since there's no one else around okay Yep, so he will surrender and jump out, attempt to jump out of the way of the oncoming boss. Yeah, which he does. <laughs> okay, Danny, you've reloaded. <laughs> take you oh. want to, take you want to hold. Yeah. yeah. Nothing much happening here. Okay, I'll have a drive roll from Amelia to try and not go plowing into the guy in his bike. And she's trying to slam on the brakes, unless she wants to plow into him. No, she, she wants, wants to, to question the them. She's awesome like that. She'll, she'll basically pull right up to him, and you'll you'll see that it's, he, he probably wets himself as, uh, as the bus gets closer to him and stops inches away from him. <laughs> Okay, we'll leap out. Put your hands up and surrender. She filthy Nazis. I'm not a Nazi. Oh. Well, what are you doing riding with Nazis, though, if you're not a Nazi? I don't know nothing about no Nazis, Gov. We, uh, uh, we, we were just told to, uh, to try to get him there to to pick him up and uh, uh, and make sure that we got away with him. Oh, the dead one. I looked down yeah. guiltily. That's why I thought there was no point in trying to go. He, he was he was he got a right attitude. He was sort of like make me get moving on, and I was uh, you know going as fast as and good as I can. You know, I'm, I'm just quite good at this kind of stuff. Well. You better get the hell out of here. Sure, go. And he'll, uh, he'll go running off into the into the night. Let's check out the um, sedan. Yeah, yeah. Danny's already on. Cool, it. cool, Danny. Danny's on the case. Um, you will. You'll also get, um, is uh, so you'll get some eye. Uh, on the uh, the guy, um, and it'll be a German passport he'll be carrying. The sedan Luckily, driver. Other than I that, I can read German. Yep, it's 
I mean, it, it was just name, based name and uh, and picture, which is clearly him. Uh, other than that, there won't be any uh, useful information on him at all. But he was definitely German, or he got a German passport anyway. To show like stamps of where he came from or any other countries he's been in. No, just Germany and uh, and England. So nothing else on him. Just one passport. Just the passport. General uh, pocket full of you know pocket full of uh, some money. Uh, just uh, loose change, etc. Um, ticket for the uh, for the theatre. <sighs> somewhere. <laughs> That was useless. At least we got a passport. Nothing on him. Let's head towards the... Oh, I don't even know what the Bumafall is, but it's in Oxford. Blumenthal at Oxford. Um, if you make me an investigation roll, Nice one, yeah, Danny. You've heard, you've heard of uh, Blumenthal. He's uh, a well-known, respected uh, Oxford uh, professor. Don't believe Danny knew that. <laughs> that Danny's good stuff like this. Let's go and get a. Hey, let's leave this bus and get a taxi or something, because you know it's too obvious. <laughs> There we go. Have some bennies. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brent just comes across as a thicko, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He is what he is. <laughs> yeah, he does. Absolutely. No redeeming feature at all. Okay. Yeah. Um, in fact, Danny, you will know with that role that he's uh, a well-known professor who's regarded as an expert on the Greek classics specifically those concerning Troy so hey let's go and see this professor and we we'll talk about Trojan horses then okay cool. on Oxford Street was he no, in Oxford. See, he told in you Oxford. I was a thicko. <laughs> Oxford professor. Ah. That's got to be Oxford Street, surely. University of Oxford. Oh, these Brits called... are weird. Sure, it's called University of Oxford. Was it... Maybe it's Oxford University. I don't know. Oxford what University. Why would they have a street and the university call the same thing? Maybe the street goes to Oxford. All right. Good luck with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Amelia will probably be rolling her eyes at our conversation. Absolutely. Sort of like, probably just be muttering Americans under her breath or something. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, it's easy enough to get to Oxford, to the university. Uh, obviously, uh, he's... If he's an expert in Greek classics, especially Troy, he's going to be part of the, the classics department. So eventually you'll find the classics department to find out from uh, the receptionist that unfortunately Professor uh, Blumenthal is actually on a research sabbatical for a year. However, um, she suggests that, uh, that you try his home address in Oxford and provides you with directions. Oh, thank you. you. Tell me about the professor. Has there been any interesting news about him lately? Any people interested in him? Drink ways. No. Uh. <laughs> Long and short of it. No, not been asking after him recently. I'm going to um, usher Danny out of the door quickly before he tells everyone what we're doing. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Thank you very much. I'll say to her. <laughs> Trying to strap okay. down. And you'll head off uh, head off into Oxford proper. 
uh, where you will follow the directions to a Victorian townhouse. However, when you arrive, the door is slightly ajar. It looks like someone got here before us. The place has been burglarised. I'll have notice rolls, please. Be impressed by my, my American. It's good, one. If I don't notice this door is ajar, you couldn't have told me it. Yeah. Told you. Oh, Kator. Wow. Okay. Everyone's pretty much on the ball there. Uh, yep. Uh, you can hear sounds one moving around upstairs. Quick, let's get him. Cool. Okay, just bear with me. I'll bad. watch the outside. Guess he'd try and make a break outside. Do you want to get the back, Kator? I'll get the back door. Spear out. I don't know what that means. Don't have a spear. We'll see. He's getting it ready. I am, yeah. Whenever you, whenever you said spear right, I was thinking, oh, it must be some sort of formation thing. And I went, no, maybe it actually means he's got a spear. <laughs> yes, yes, I have a spear. <laughs> I was wondering why you were saying it to me. That's a lot of beds. Oh, sorry, it's the boss. The boss just came back up again. Yeah, it was just um, for some reason it wasn't letting me delete everything off the combat track in one go, so I was uh, having to do it uh, one step at a time. Okay. Uh, you've not got a meal with you for this one. So, so shopping in Oxford. She's got confused with Oxford Street. Probably shopping, yeah, shopping trip on the way. We are using the three prong technique. I wonder where there is. Did they have fire skips back then in the 30s? I know they had in America, but I don't know. UK. Not sure. They might have been fairly good with fire things. They were particularly during the Blitz, isn't it? That's. I mean, it's not for a few years yet, but. I'm going to have a look. Not that many years yet, it's only about five. I wonder if the sign in that bus says, if you can read this sign, you're too close. <laughs> How's my driving? Uh, they had, like, proper uniforms and everything. London Fire Brigade's 150-year history. Right, I'm at the front, you're okay, inside, if, and he's run to the back. I was going to say, if you want to pop your son, I've only put the floor on. Is there a back window? Yeah, you can, you can get in 
quite easily because obviously the front door is ajar. It's just whether you're going to sneak in or if you're making a full frontal charge. Oh, I was I was trying to stop a, an escape by the window. That's why I was asking about fire escapes. Oh, right. No, there's no fire escape here now. Okay, then I'll, I'll I'll follow Brent then. Yeah, it's just a three-story townhouse, so it's uh, it's only three stories to it. Well, I'll stealthy. Okay, now everybody else stealthy, or they just I'll make stealth because uh, it's one of the things I'm good at, so I may as well do well. it. I'll have a go. Oh. Like I say, stealth's one of the good things for me. It <laughs> oh, is so fair. That... It Danny's is pretty stealthy. It's pretty stealthy, and Kator is just making a racket. <laughs> okay. Carrying a spear around it inside a house, I think, banging everything. It's right, just a lot of noise coming from the back passage. That's it. Yeah. I mean, the, they are all on the top floor, so you can't. The only way to get to them is where that stair is. So it's just Kato scrambling in through the back window. The window is a bit too small for me. Okay, somebody's alert. That was everyone except me so far. Count how many smarts there are. One, two, four. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I'm rolling one per, per, per person, though it might be per group. Okay, so Danny's successfully sneaking. Um, okay, yeah, he's very aware of the others. Uh, they're not so relevant. So. Kato, are you climbing up to the top floor to get in through that window, or are you uh, uh, to yes, the ground I'm climbing floor? Up. I'll have a climb roll off you then, please. Yeah, I think I cool. do that. Yep, yeah, it's a good climb that you did up there, but you unfortunately you will, uh, as you climb up, you will... Um, Uh, you, you will make a bit of this, and uh, obviously what will happen is uh, you'll disturb a bird's nest up there in the eaves as uh, and uh, a, a bird will quite angrily sort of like cheer at you before it flies off in a huff. Which is why you made a bit of noise. However... So, Danny, at the moment, you have the drop on everybody. You can see a gap at the stairs, not looking overly... Um, well, he looks like he's uh, heard something coming from the uh, back end of the house, which was the, the area that, uh, you know, Kato was clambering in from. Okay. Check. Sorry, just checking what I've got on me. Where? Um. Okay, I am going to. Might as well just shoot them. <laughs> I'll shoot the fuck. Well, you got the jump on. Yeah. 
Uh, what's that give me? Uh, plus, plus four. four. Yep. Yeah. Plus four. It's the first time I've ever had a jump on anyone. Yeah, so he's bug number five. Cool. No, be no. And I'll move over here. Okay. Obviously, well, he had heard he had heard uh, both Brent and. Um, Kator, uh, but obviously he's heard that gunshot. So out of the this room will come uh, a guy wearing fencing equipment, like a full fencing visor, and he's also uh, got a, a, a rapier there in his hand. Did you bring a rapier to a gunfight? I'm a bit worried about that, actually. I'm not worried about it. I am, because if he stands right by me, I probably will, well, it might be a late team, but he'll be hardy. He's got crazy parry. Oh, he'll he's... come running over there. Damn it. <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, and, um... Uh, it's popping there because that's the actual square. So he's obviously he's on the the balcony there. Uh, so one to three, he'll go for Danny. Four to six, he'll go for Brent. Danny, Danny. Brent. <sighs> Brent's just not loyal, is he? <laughs> you just make a good meat shield. That's all. Uh, oh. he, he misses you. Wow. And just, let's not spend a penny on it. Oh, he's missed you by quite a bit of all the four. You've got a parry of seven. Mm. <laughs> uh, but no, he won't spend any. Uh, Brent, you up. Right then. Shit, he's back. First one's a miss, second one's a hit, but only just. Shaken. Means you could move away from him now. Oh yeah, sorry, no. Move up to there. Okay. Oh my god, I'm surrounded by people now. Anyway, Kato, you're up. I'll move over and go for a sweep on these two. Okay. They are both aware of your presence. <laughs> the one, the one who failed, is the one who's in the bathroom. <laughs> he was too busy. Understandable. He, he heard the gunshot. Though. I think he feels a bit worried. Brent's looking at him at the toilet. Cool. That's a uh, raise. I think he says. Maybe buses are just not your environment. Yeah, I just, I'm not good at these bus places. Okay, so the remaining thugs. All right, this one will come out. Okay, and he's got two targets, so one to three, he'll shoot at Danny. Four to six, he'll shoot at Brent. 
guess what's gonna be. And that's a hit, I think. Oh yes, no, the dodge. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, proof dodge now. Oh, you have improved dodge, do you? Oh, I'm gone. I, that should be on the effects. Uh, just let me pop those on. I'm not sure they got the improved version on, have they? Uh, no, they don't, because we were trying it last time. I think is it not just um, might need to put range defense in. Oh, it's okay. I just need to remember that they've got. Is the defense ranged? I need to mention the person who made the. I think, oh, apart from, well, it'll still work, I think. I think if you just drag that onto it. And drag that out of the chat window onto him on the tracker, it should work with a better look. You've got that as well, haven't you, Brent? I have indeed. Okay, we'll see if that works. Yep, so he will miss. Just. And the last one will hurriedly uh, uh, bust, bust, draw a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> as he's mid flow. <laughs> and uh, he'll uh, attempt to shoot at you there, Brent. Oh, I'm going to give him a minus two because he was otherwise occupied. Just like a nine. I said nine for six. Did you put the minus two in? I did, yeah. In which case, that's the effect I missed the DR. Oh, don't, um, it, oh, right, yes. Um, uh, because the, um, properly, because the, uh, um, they've not set the, uh, the thugs up properly. Reason the Putnam has been unskilled with their weapons, it's like no, oh, not. yeah, so that's why I can shoot rather, rather than uh, laboriously uh, mm. changing them. But I will just stick a D in each of those. Cool, so that should hopefully, hopefully, so yeah, yeah, it, it does say improved dodge, you, <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think that matters. Right, it's right now anyway. But yeah, so that will actually be a hit, I think, six. It is. So, yep, so he will stand there mid flow as he whips out his gun and shoots it and shoots you there, Brent. You'll probably be distracted one moment as he's uh, sort of like uh, spilling uh, mm. uh, sp spilling urine down his pants as he, as he shoots at you. It's a pleasant image. Oh, American then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I say. He shoots you with two guns. Yes. And that's a wound coming in, if you'd like to soak. <laughs> oh, soak it. Soak being the opposite word. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, thank you. Okay, and the thugs are up again. No. So this thug will shoot at you again, Danny. And that will miss. Miss <laughs> it. 
Yeah, and our friend will definitely miss you this time, my friend. He was probably more shot than you that he hit you. <laughs> okay, Brent, you're up. Okay, right, I shall um, spin around and do some more shooting. This fella first. Yep, you hit him. And you shake him. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I'll shoot the next one. I'm shooting the guy with his torture out. Oh, that won't do. That won't do at all. Hold on. No mercy in it. Ah, that's better. Doing a Pulp Fiction thing here. Shooting him on the cars. He And that's me done. And he will break his shape. Ooh, he has a choice of targets. Uh, well, he he will, uh, in the, you can tell as a German accent, he will shout on as he lunges at Brent. Always good for me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's knackered it in with his rake as well, it's put it down as being unskilled and it's like, no, he's a, a fencing champion. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's annoying uh, that. I need to uh, I'm out for the next session. I hadn't noticed him actually. Mm. Yeah, I've had that happen to me as well. That's annoying. Oh, in fact, no, he won't go for you, Brent, actually, because he is stood in... Um, He's standing right next to Danny. Sorry, Danny. He will actually on guard at you because I uh, was thinking that the one, the other side was Brent, but it wasn't. It's uh, it's his thug that's still up. Sounds fair to me. I shoot him. <laughs> and that will hit. And there's a wound coming in, Danny, if you'd like to soak. I see no wound. And eight, boy, you're up. Uh, well, I see the guy with the rapier attacking Danny's ass, so I'll go in and help him. You can kind of see it. That's on the stairs there. If you want to, uh, you can kind of get next up at the top on the landing. About there. There, if you want. Yep. There we go. Okay, that's a hit with a... There you go. Yeah, let's attempt to set that. That's going to soak one. Let's try again. Yep, that'll soak one of it. Danny. Okay, if the person's shaking, <clears throat> does I still have to shoot against their party? If you're next to him in melee, yeah. So I'll move downstairs and then shoot up at him. Okay. Uh, okay, there, there it is. Keep on forgetting to do double. I don't get my aim bonus because I move. Uh, that's 
<laughs> That'll be a wound, which you'll attempt to set. With a GM, Benny. Nope, he will take that. Uh, Grant, you're up. Don't worry, I got this. Sorter. Oh, my God. Oh. Ah, oh, four wounds. Okay, you're going to force me to have to use my uh, villain bennies. So I'll use, I'm going to use them both. All right. Okay, so. Ooh, a two benny power. Yeah. Okay, he will suddenly, as you shoot at him, he will suddenly spring into life. And he will go charging past Kator. Uh, Kator, you'll be shocked. You won't be expecting any action from him to move as he charges past and dives out through the window, landing gracefully outside. Okay. Born you Englanders once, the figure snarls. Stop meddling in our affairs or pays the price. Whoever the man is, he has a thick German accent and he flees off. Into the day, in night. I think he was a German. <laughs> ah, Nazis everywhere. They keep following us around. Everywhere we go, there's Nazis. Nazis, Nazis, to, not... Nazis to the left of me. Nazis. To, in fact, was it to the left of me? Nazis to the right. That's it. Here I am, I'm stuck with an eight boy. Yeah, here you are stuck with the eight boy in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> as as he vanishes, uh, he drops a glove which was tucked into his belt. I'll pick up the glove. Okay, you will get the glove. I will investigate the glove of thing if I need to. Um, okay, a smart roll with a raise is what you need. Oh, smart's not investigate? Okay, I'll let you have investigate with a raise. Okay. Wow. Okay, uh, Danny, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the glove belongs belongs to the Alien Fencing Academy, a prestigious club that is located in Mayfair. <laughs> hey, it's in Mayfair this time. Upper class. It's a, it's a fencing club. Fencing's where you use a sword, Kator. I can use the sword. Oh, that'll be good here. I'm not actually sure if Danny should be talking this way to Kator, but <laughs> I don't know. He's got a mean streak as that eight boy. Yeah. Okay, so as you search around the house, you'll find uh, information uh, about Blumenthal. You can tell that he's obviously some kind of uh, professor uh, that who's very interested in ancient um, Greek uh, mythology and history. Um, but I'll have an investigate role, please. It's not as good as usual. 
threat. Oh, it's, it's good enough. Yeah, his um, his main point of research is uh, about an object called uh, the Palladium. Um, I'll have a. It's um, it's probably more smarts roll. This is because it's just basically the writing about the Palladium assumes that you know what it is. So it's more of a smarts roll, which Danny does. Cool. Brent's heard of He's not sure where from. He, he just thought that it's... In fact, wasn't the name of the theatre that you were at? That was called the Palladium. That's what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was. And uh, that's what Brent will, will figure. Uh, Kato will just be too busy raiding the fridge for clues. Um, and uh, and Danny, you will... Um, you will know that the Palladium was... Uh, it's it's some kind of item that uh, Zeus gave to the city of Troy. Um, you don't know exactly what it is, but it's something that that Zeus gave to Troy, and that whilst the Palladium was in the it was was in Troy, Troy would never fall. Clearly, obviously, the Greeks must have stolen it at some point. I pass that along to the other two. Never trust the Greek, they steal stuff. But that's about all you'll find. You won't find any clue as to where Blumenthal is. Clearly the uh, the, the thugs and the, the fencing expert were, were rifling through papers and stuff, so they were clearly searching for something. Shall we head to the fencing club then? Get Aye. some more information on this person. Yeah. Get there and sort her out. Okay, you'll head back to London and uh, head over towards the Albion Fencing Club. Um, and uh, you'll the the receptionist will uh, will give you directions to the main fence hall. As you approach the hall, you hear the clang of steel on steel. Within, you see two fencers engaged in combat, while a handful of students look on. One of the fencers, obviously a skilled swordsman, scores a point, and the bout ends. Both swordsmen salute each other. You will notice that the guy that won moves a little bit stiffly, as if he's been injured. The winner notices you and turns to face you. Can I help you? Are you here for a lesson? He asks, his voice pulled by his face mask, but his accent unmistakably German. Yes, I, I, I push Kato forward before Danny can give a plot away. <laughs> I will fight you. <laughs> I do not fight savages, he laughs. But look at Try him, me. he's obviously far superior to you. Look at the muscles on the lad. I have a plan. Uh -oh. I say to my companions, and I turn to I turn to this person in front of us, and I say, <clears throat> can I persuade you to try your skills against a person of this uh, heritage? I'm sure one of your skill could teach my companion some and whatever, whatever. I'm trying to persuade. I'm going to try and persuade him to do this. Any negatives okay. to this? I uh, no, just do a straight persuade roll. And I will say this all in German. I will Benny because I've got Benny. I will Benny because I've got. <laughs> I hit you. <laughs> I give up. Oh, he said no. Uh, he laughs in your face. Oh, he's, he's actually healed once from that. He laughs in your face. Ha! No worry. Mod, it is uh, of no interest to me, but 
fun of my uh, fun of my uh, young apprentices here, Bill, uh, Bill, your savage friend. Whilst we deal, whilst the rest of us deal with you and your you your stupid Americana friend. They're all Germans again. Oh my goodness, I don't know. <laughs> We'll kill you, uh, again. He's not going to be this time. He has, he's got one back. Ah. Should just shut him as soon as we saw Well, the good news is they're only going to pit one person against Kator and all the rest, and we're going to fight us too. I use my two bennies, then I'm going to regret all them persuasion rolls. Just let you know. <laughs> That's the plan. If you wish to change anything. I'm fine now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back that way. Because uh, Brent pushed Kator forward, so... Makes sense to be ahead of me. Okay, if you're happy with that, we'll begin. I'm shaking, but there you go. Um, he's going to hold. Uh, Kator, you're up first. Get right into the middle of me. No, you want to. Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> I'm going to go wild attack. I'm sure that that's going to defend some rules. <laughs> Oh dear. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Kato leaps into the middle of the fray and uh, with, a, with a mighty shout, with a mighty shout as he tries to intimidate and terrify the fae, drops his spear at his feet. <laughs> Do over. No, not with a fumble. <laughs> I'm up, am I? Alright, let's, uh, don't worry, I'll save you.
probably one of them. Nice meet up. Okay. Got it. Kator, you do need fencing lessons. That proves it. Wait, uh, I'm gonna shoot guy at the. Can I? Can I see the guy at the back? Claw, claws, claw, claw. Whatever his name is. Klaus. You do, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I will double. Ahead. Oh, he'll yeah. laugh as your bullet pings on his fencing gear outfit. Okay, uh, so this one will move. Um, oh. Um, so one to two is going to head over to you, Danny. Three to four, you'll head over to you, Brent. Five to six, you'll join in the melee on Kator. That is going in at Kator. And we'll come around this way. And uh, he will miss. He won't. Seven teams, that's nine, so that'll be eight. Uh, Kato, you're shaking. And the third one. That'll be a raise again. Two wounds coming in, Kato. Do you wish to soak? Yes. You soak them. You are fine. Other than your spear lying at your feet. Oh, and uh, Klaus was uh, uh, hold. on hold. I'll just take him off hold. We shall meet again, Americana. No. Run away again? It certainly does. <laughs> and we'll beat you again, Nazi. He's got eight movement? He sprinted. He's got oh, ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, next round. Danny. Ticket, he's gone. There's no point in running after him. He has. He's ran into the night. Okay, I will shoot. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'll shoot them. I, I don't care if I shoot Kater. Kater's Kater, bulletproof. I get plus. If you miss and roll a one. Oh, sorry, you're not going to hit Kator. I don't know why, but double tap's not working. And I've got the plus two EM bonus in. Oh, 
Let's just try that. Let me see that. Yep, that's a hit. Oops. Yeah. That will do the trick. Kato. There's the spears on the floor. I'll just pull out my dagger and try and sweep them with that. Okay, minus two for pulling out the dagger, and obviously minus two for your sweep. That's a minus four altogether. Damn. Rent. Okay, so guns are blazing again. I'm going to move over here then. Like that. Like That's that. a hit. I'll do. Oh, I'm pretty deadly with these pistols. Yep, basically there's a pile of bodies around Kator, only one of which Kator actually hit. In fact, none of which Kator hit. <laughs> Not being Kator's night tonight. No, he doesn't, has yeah, he? He's just... Yeah. I'm just sitting at the centre of a cross of blood. Okay, as I'll have notice rolls from you, it's actually slightly going back, but... Uh, you have to talk to your child and ask what that code was. Yeah, it's undo it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a hindrance code. Okay, as Klaus ran, you hear him sh You're too late. Blumenthal will soon be aboard an airplane bound for Italy. Stop the third Vike. And Germany will soon rule the world. Never, you Nazis will never win. Should have actually sent that through the window. <laughs> oh, joke. In guard? It wasn't as bad as that time where I was a uh, GM. I'm oh, sorry, go on. No, it's all right, you go. I was Jamie Nacht on Cthulhu and like I was getting into my um, Nazi character guy and I threw a, a Nazi salute and like as you know my kitchen windows like not <laughs> basically it's like an open window and I'm like oh no I'm doing a Nazi salute in my kitchen what are the neighbours going to think anyway never oh mind excellent <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> yeah it's no good at all Cool, okay, so, well, there's only one airstrip that could be close, and that's London Airport, based at nearby, well, fairly nearby Croydon. The only airport for miles. Okay, we need a car. Well, as luck would have it, Amelia gave you a lift here. <laughs> So she'll be outside with the car. Thanks, Amelia. <laughs> yep, with outside in her roadster. Where are we getting Croydon? Croydon, yeah, that's where London Airport was in the thirties. Not very exotic, is it, Croydon? Anyway, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Probably changed over time. Maybe it was a market uh, back then. I don't think Croydon's ever been that exciting. To be honest oh, with you. I think it was it was basically an aerodrome, basically rather than an airport. Yeah, for a field in Croydon. Yeah, field field with a hut. 
you take to the most exotic locations in your game. <laughs> so, I must say, it's the only time I've role played in Croydon. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you will get to uh, to uh, to Croydon Airport as the and uh, at the. <laughs> At the departure desk, the official will tell you that uh, there's only one plane bound for Italy uh, today. In fact, it's just heading out to the runway for takeoff. The schweins. Okay, well, uh, hit it, um, Amelia. Let's catch it up. Okay, so we will do this as a chase. Basically, you're in a pla in a car, they're in a plane. And they're taxiing down the runway trying to escape. Have you stopped the plane? Have you played any cards yet, Skell, today? Nope. I was going to say, do you want to give me some more villains? No, thank you. Oh. Okay, just bear with me while I set things up. Have you still got Amelia on your allies sheet there? I have. Then? Cool. Um, basically, I won't put her on the combat tracker. She'll just go at the same time as you, because sure. all she'll be involved in is just the driving role. Okay. Oh, I just uh, almost forgot. Let us check. You've got so many bernies bent, Fred. He has, he's been storing them. So it's unusual, it's usually Brent that's got none. It is. He's been using them all up for the, um, for the No Mercy. Yeah, I've, I've been hitting and killing stuff though, so. Yeah. I, I'm saving it up to do something really stupid. That's what I usually do. <laughs> we finally got loads of bennies, it's like, right, I mean, try and do like four actions or something. So we're chasing a plane, did you say? We are chasing a plane down the runway in Croydon. <laughs> Yep, it's been, it's been exotic exotic locations for most of the uh, yeah. campaign. However, you're now in Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You've got to love Croydon. <laughs> Those bad stains. Let's hope. Let's just hope none of your audience members are. Um, yeah. There's probably some guy fuming now. He's gonna like he's like banging away on his keyboard. <laughs> What's wrong with Croydon? <laughs> I might as well insult Sulk Crowd now, usually insult everywhere in particular. Well, oh, they should be any different. Oh, I thought I'd set that up as a token, not to worry. We can use this. I'll do for Amelia's car there. I haven't seen it yet. I, I haven't shared it yet. There we go. Okay, so taxiing onto the runway is a Douglas C-32 cargo plane. Okay. So, we've only got two squares, and then we'll crash into the front of that airplane. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> yeah, the plane's actually facing the other way. So, uh... <laughs> oh, this will work. Is basically, yeah. Cheers. It's basically the plane. Um, 
you're not going to be able to do enough damage with your pistols and your rocks, i.e. K tool, um, to harm the plane. You need to stop the plane. You know that Professor Blumenthal is uh, on the plane, so you don't really want to uh, destroy and blow the plane up if possible. Uh, how the is each round the plane will automatically move one increment, so it will automatically move one square as it taps one way. For each success that uh, Amelia gets on a drive roll, you will move one square. So if she gets a raise, she'll move two. To physically drive around it and put it in front of the plane. It's not a big, heavy plane, so it would basically, um, if the plane was determined to go through you, it would damage the plane in order to stop it from being able to take off. Um, so you'd be able to, to stop it more than likely. However, it's because on board the plane are a load of Nazi thugs. <laughs> Isn't there always a load of Nazi thugs? And they are doing a combination of throwing crates out of the plane or firing pistols at you guys. Uh, so each round that you're behind the plane, um, they will attempt to stop you uh, trying to uh, harm Amelia's car or trying to shoot the people in the car. So you can obviously from behind, shoot at them as they're hanging out, but obviously they'll have a bit of cover, as will you guys in the roadster. Okay. Okay. Uh, Professor Blumenthal won't actually be doing anything because he is tied up. So he will not go first. He will struggle, struggle vainly at his um, at his bonds. Uh, so Kator, I'm just gonna hang on. I'm getting ready to climb on the roof to jump onto the plane's wings. Cool. You can go on hold if you wish. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay. You can go on hold then. <laughs> Don't know how to go on hold. Well, I can put you on hold. No, oh, I'll put you on hold. I find the button. I've never seen it before. <laughs> uh, Brent? Okay, um, I'm going to. Um, th there's no one I can particularly shoot at then, is there? Is there? Can I shoot the people? You can or? target Nazi soldiers. Um, okay. If you notice on, the, I mean, they're on the combat tracker there at the bottom. You can target any of those. Um, it's just a minus two because of the cover. Okay, just got away with the raise anyway, so. Okay. Yeah, you'll shoot at one, and he'll he'll uh, he'll be shot, and he'll fall out of the plane. I remember to cover. One. And he'll just be shaken, so I'm he'll gonna... still be in there. No, not so fast. Oh, I'm okay. gonna <laughs> show no mercy. Yep, that will do the trick. Wait, I did hit with a raise yesterday. Awesome. Okay, that's two of them out. Okay, so Nazi soldiers. Uh, so this first one will... Uh, uh, there's just one from each group that technically will, will attack. Because uh, obviously you can't have all... Well, eight of them as there is now all hanging out of the door at the same time. So this first one will attempt to throw a crate. Um, because... 
throw a, a, a seat, so I don't know how they're going to throw a crate. We'll see soon. Uh, it's basically, the, it's more that they're just dropping a crate out, trying to make the driving roll a bit more difficult for Amelia. In fact, actually, Grant, uh, on your go, do you want to do Amelia's driving roll as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely. More me making fun. Oh, do you know a neat trick by the way? I just I found out. Um, if you double click on your portrait of your character or on the portrait of your character on the combat tracker, it opens up whatever map your um, tokens on. So if you oh, right, accidentally cool. shut down the thing, you can just double click on your portrait and it uh, brings you uh, where you are back up. I never knew that. Anyway. Well, I just did that and I'm in the fencing club. Yeah, that's because that's where your token yeah, was last time. Because I've, I've not put the tokens on the, the runway. Oops. Um, anyway, I'll stop. Find the car. I know the car's not here. She's on four. There you go. She'll get up behind the plane. Oh, you, you climb on the bonnet of the of the car and leap on. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I'll try and trick. Okay, I'll have an agility roll for you there, Kato. You can get onto the bonnet easy enough, so I'll I'll have an agility roll for you. Yep, you will be able to just about get onto the back of the plane there. Uh, you're not going to be able to do any action though, other than clambering onto the. Plane. I'm going to jump too then. Okay. I've got a belly now because I don't want to fall off. Uh, I made it, did it? Yeah, four, that's good enough. Yeah. Basically, Kato and uh, uh, Danny will scramble onto the back of the plane and uh, they'll be inching the top of the plane there to get closer to the door. Oh, was that what I was doing? I thought I was go I, I, I'm actually eight, uh, eight. at a different plan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to break the wings so they couldn't fly up. So I've got a repair skill, so I was going to do the reverse repair and break it so the the flaps don't work. All oh, right. You still need to clamber along to the uh, to the wing because uh, yep. you're actually having to play at the moment. So, but yeah, okay, that's fair enough. So, uh, yep, this Nazi soldier will, as I say, he throws out a crate, uh, which, yeah, it's just done automatically. It just means that next round, um, Amelia's driving is at minus one as she swerves around the, the, the crate as it crashes on the floor. It doesn't actually throw it, it's more of a case of just drops it out. And the other Nazis all prepare to get boarded. Okay, so Kator, if you, you've got choice, you can either do a straight agility, which uh, case that you are clambering along the uh, um, which will mean that you don't do anything else this round, but you will get to within range of the soldiers, or you can attempt to run the plane, um, which is which you need to get a race to succeed at. If you do, you can run along and you can attack the first of the Nazis as he's leaning out of the door. This is your lucky day, Kator. I'm going to try and run. Cool, that's what I like to see. So an agility roll, you need... An agility with a raise. Yep. I'll bet you that. Oh, so Ooh. close. One you had Elan. He's got one more, Benny. Do I... Yeah. 
I'm gonna fall off and hurt yourself, so the penny would it be good for the soap? No. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll, we'll take that seven, which is a success. Okay, you'll try to run along, and basically you will just... Uh, the wind buffeting will uh, will just be too much for you, and basically you'll you'll go you'll go down, but you won't fall off. So you'll still be clambering along, result as if you had just crawled along. But um, the Nazis will be able to attack you in the hand to hand, or, or more likely try to shoot you in the face. Uh, event. All right, well, let's shoot some more Nazis. Oh no, I need okay. to get on the train. I need to get. Oh, no, um, well, should I roll for driving first? Yeah, okay. Do, do a driving roll for. Because the crate. Okay, so that's six because the minus one. So, yeah, that's fine. You can move one space up. Okay, and I want to get on the plane. Okay, I'll have an agility roll. And please, Brent. Yep, you can just about get on there. <sighs> okay, that'll be me doing a bat. <laughs> it certainly is. Professor, I've come to save you. Okay, so that is Nazi. Uh, well, as uh, as you're there in his face, he will pull out his pistol and attempt to shoot you, um, Kator. I hope we don't need a penny. <laughs> okay, so he's got to go for your power. He's at minus two. Yeah, the the shot goes pretty wild. I turned your wild attack off, Kitor, while you're running. Okay, and the other Nazi there, he will lean out as well, and he will do the same. Yeah, and he will miss as well. They were not quite expecting uh, a crazy to have jumped onto the plane and be running at them. No the one expects round, Kato. Next round, you'll be able to fight as normal as you try to get into the plane itself there. You, um, Kato, you can, you can only really attack one at a time, so you, you have options are not really uh, available, but if you successfully... Um, take somebody down, I'll, I'll let you be in the a massive brawl going on in there. Uh, so, Danny, uh, you're attempting to get to the to the wings, I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can either uh, just attempt to fall along, which is just an agility roll, will take your, your turn, or to run along, which is an agility I will only do the agility roll because I'm not going to risk running. I don't think I'll be that good at rolling. Okay, so just the straight of crawling along. Spot. I made it. <gasps> Next round, you can attempt to uh, to uh, disrepair the plane. So we'll struggle valiantly against his bonds. Uh, Kator, so you can attack one of the Nazis. A successful attack from you. Um, if you successfully take, them out, take the Nazi out of the fight, we'll get you inside the plane. Cool. Um... Which one am I attacking? You can pick. I don't mind. They're all the same. Uh, 
answer hit. Oh, you're still on wild. Is that okay? Yeah, wild's going in there. I need the adrenaline. Okay. Oh. Okay. He's shaken, so you won't quite get in, but uh, you can still uh, you can still fight uh, one on at the moment. Definitely lost your chi today, okay, so. So, Brent, on the back end of this plane, are you rush crawling along? Okay, I'm taking some shots then. There's that. So, um, okay. Yeah, can I shoot the guy who's in the way? No, okay, he'll shoot if you wish. Um, well, you're, you're going to be at minus two because of a bit yeah. of cover that they've got. Um, um, and I'm going to say I'm going to give minus two again because obviously Kato's trying to fight them in the doorway. So, so I'm going to say minus four. If you miss roll a one, you will probably hit Kato. Yeah, I don't worry about. Missed him. Roll a one. I'm pretty good though. I've got d12s. So I'm not likely to hit him. Oh, that looks good. That's a hit. Yep, you'll shoot that one and he'll fall. He'll fall from the plane with a scream as he gets run over by the wheels. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. And a drive roll for Amelia. Oh, okay. Straight drive this time. You want to get a raise because that's going to that's going to put you in front. She out of bounds, even though she has no much. Yeah. So basically, Amelia will pull round side because obviously she's got to get in front of it. So um, she's uh, trying to uh, trying to get there. And the Nazi soldier. So the first meet, one. Meet, meet, meet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I think we both pressed at the same time then. Uh Danny, uh, I'll have a repair roll from you. Uh, well, that's, well it's not real, so we'll It's gonna time. work, but it's gonna take you a couple of rounds. You're basically in the process of doing uh, occupied. That's it, you're cutting it's, it's taking a little while. You're cursing the fact that the dock isn't here because that would be uh, sort of like a butter for him. But, uh, but you're getting there. So it's, but it's going to take you a couple of rounds to sort out. Hi, Nazi. Okay, so first Nazi will again try to... Uh, he'll pull out a knife and attack you, Kator. Yeah, and you'll completely miss. And this lead Nazi is the one that's got a pistol out, so he'll try to shoot you again, Kator. Yeah, he totally misses as well. As the professor, uh, <laughs> um, I, I, as the professor valiantly struggles against the rope, shouting encouragement to you guys. Kator, you can see the professor there inside the plane, try, struggling against his bonds. I'm going to try and fight my way to him, so I'll kill one of the Nazis in front of me. You just need to success.
Oh, this has been your best chance so far. Nice. There we go. Yep. You'll kill one and and you'll you'll see Kator just grab hold of one of the Nazis and throw him straight out of the plane as he clambers in. It's more like it. Obviously the downside of that is means that you can get more attacks on you. <laughs> Plus side is that you could um next round you can attempt to sweep them and do lots of damage. Okay, so this group of Nazis, um, I'm going to have the first one is going to be, uh, oh, he's got, all right, yeah, he's the idiot. Uh, oh, yep, okay. Uh, he is leaning out of the, um, uh, as Kator comes in, one of these will lean out of the, um, of the plane with an SMG. And he will uh, start oddly on the full auto be behind him. One, two, you'll have three shots. Try to fire a shot, one shot, and one to six, one to three, Danny, four to six, Trent as well. So two shots at Danny, one shot at Trent. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can, is the plane a character? Not really. Oh, because I've got a card that says if I'm hit by an attack, I can use it. It hits the card. It's using card. Okay, no matter. Do it. So, he's not likely to hit because he's at minus two. He's at and he's got he's not got rock and rolls. So he's at minus four uh, to this shot to these shots. So. Um, I'll target Danny with with the three, but um, in fact, it doesn't really matter because they cocked up it all again. So I'll just do uh, three shooting rolls. First one, first two at Danny, third one's at Brent. There you go. Oh, Bullets go. Bullets go whizzing around, hitting tarmac all over the place. Nowhere near any of you. However, the three soldiers will attack Kator. And oh, that's a that's a miss. That one's the hit with a raise there, Kato. Ooh. And that's two wounds coming in. Last taken. Uh, seven. That's just going to be a hit because of the wild attack. That's another wound coming. Oh. Okay, so this round, Danny, you will manage to damage the plane enough. It's not going to be able to take off. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be able to take <laughs> off. <laughs> you make sure of it. Yay. We okay, meanwhile. Okay, so meanwhile, this one will uh, lean out of the uh, 
of the plane and he will pull out his pistol and he will have a pot shot at either you, Danny or Brent. One, two, three, Danny. At Danny. And that's, well, that's a hit. Okay. Uh, Danny, you're shaken. I'm so shaken. <laughs> you might want to break the shake on your turn, otherwise uh, I'll be falling off the plane because it's, oh, it's still okay. moving. Luckily, <laughs> Are three wounds? Yeah, basically, he jumped in there in, in the midst of the uh, Nazis that were on the plane, and the two of them uh, start, stabbed him to death with knives. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Kate was out of Benny's, which is uh, what's uh, what's hurting the, at the moment. It's definitely not been Kato's day. As the last Nazi soldier. He's going to be brave. He's going to come. He sees what uh, you're doing there, uh, Danny. Uh, and uh, he doesn't realize that you've actually fully managed to destroy everything. So he's going to crawl out along the plane to, towards you. So he's going to try to get to you. Okay, which he does. He won't uh, reach you this round, but uh, he'll be up to you. So he'll be, he'll be uh, attacking you next round. So, Brent, what you can see, you see one Nazi that's hanging out of the plane, firing wildly with a stone. One Nazi that's had a pot shot uh, and, and has managed to just wing him. Another Nazi crawling along the top of the plane towards that. Wow. And you know that Kator's inside the plane there. Uh, Fighting what, however many of the Nazis that were there. All right. So which fellow's um, crawling towards me? Um, it's the second second one of the group of two Nazis. No pressure. He's going first then. Yep, that's a hit. Cool. That will take him out. And then can I try and get inside the plane? Uh, you need to hit. You need to successfully take out the first, either the first of the group of three or the one that's by himself. Oh, that's a good shot. Yep. I'll do it. You'll get in. Yay. You'll basically see that they've beaten Kato up and the professor is there tied up. Who has managed to break the shake. Do the car but, uh, again. And I play a car. Oh, you didn't do Amelia's driving as well. Oops. Okay. So Everyone's at plus two. Not on that yeah. roll, because that was last turn, but uh, she doesn't need it. Yeah, she'll manage to pull the car in front of the uh, the plane to, uh, to, halt, to halt it down, which basically makes life a little bit easier for those of you that are hanging onto the plane, because at least uh, it's not moving as well. Katie, you're now plus it. four okay. to everything this round, so, well, plus two from me, you'll need to add that on yourself. Right, well, Kato's going to go and try and do a sweep on. Would it be just two? Yeah, I've put plus two on, it should put plus two on for your uh, wild attack automatically. So, you'll just need to put two yourself, well, it should work out the rest. Minus two for the sweep. Yeah, oh. minus two for the sweep, so it'll cancel that plus two out that yep. Bill's giving you, so you'll just get the plus two from the wild attack. And plus two from the Joker. Um, yeah. So your sweep will just cancel out Bill's minus. Bill's plus two 
the wild attack will automatically be on, the joker will automatically be on, so you don't need to do anything. Yeah, just roll, um, kill them all. Yeah, you can either go for the group of three or the group of one, so I'm presuming you're going for the group of three. Yeah, the group of three. I can't select him, but I'll just... Is our German friend the pilot of this plane? No, he's not. Six. That's all three of them, isn't it? Yep, they've just got a power of five, so it's just straight hit on each one. I think that one's dead. Red mist. Definitely found your form again there. There we are. You just needed blood on his feet. Cool. Danny, you're no longer shaken, so you do not need to make a roll to stay on that plane. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, can I make a roll to get off that plane? Yep, just a straight agility roll to just jump off. I'm going to jump onto the car in front. Um, I'm going to do two things, though. I'm going to shoot the guy in front of me who's crawling towards me. Oh, he's already been shot. Is he? Brent, is he? Brent shot him. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to just jump into the thing. I get a plus two to this because of the card you. Yep, you do. Agility roll, agility roll. He's got too many. Yeah, you'll get into the. You'll get back into. Uh, into Amelia's road step. Oh, to me. Uh, Brent, there's just one Nazi left. That was the guy with the uh, pistol. Okay, in which case I'm going to um, run up to him and um, headbutt him. Okay. <laughs> just because I think I'm probably out of bullets. I forgot to count them. So I'm going to run up and headbutt this guy. Okay. I got this, don't worry everyone. Well, you're hard headed. Bonk. Yep, that'll be a hit. Oh, I've shown him no mercy. <laughs> Good. Damn it. Oh, one more. Oh, oh, go on, just one more. It's, it's always this, I spend all my bennies on, isn't it? No mercy. Come on, six. Oh, god damn it, okay. <laughs> How many attacks have you got to clear down because of me? Alright, Professor's up. Well, he, as you run up and headbutt him, he will try to shoot you in the face. <laughs> So he's against you, Harry. Oh, wait, wait. Um, I should have had plus two to that. To your trait roll, so it's to, to the fighting. Attack. So it might give me a raise. Eleven, they've got a parry of five. So, yeah, you had a raise. Uh, so, hold on, what was the highest one? Four. If I roll... The highest one was... Four, which was the last one you did. Oh, that turns it to a five. That's a shaken. Uh, I guess I should okay. roll it for the other one, shouldn't I? Hold on, how many, how many attacks did I have? One, two. You did five attempts there. I'm basically just going to get a six. Ah, give up. Okay, you're shaken. Middle. In which case, I will attempt a spirit roll for him. So, Tough. yeah, he's shaken. He throws you surprised at head body. Yeah, so he won't shoot you in the face. Oh, he will now, though. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, God, okay.
Yeah, with his joker bonus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure of it. I've got one Benny. I'm fine. Oof. Uh, ten, that's four over. Yeah, so it's that a wound. Is one wound. Just soak it. Yeah, you soak it, so I won't put anything. Danny's in the car. <laughs> I'm in the car. Can I see anything to do? You can't see anything from these. They're all inside the, all inside the fighting each other now. <laughs> Trying to headbutt and headbutt the Nazis in the face. <laughs> so, Kato, you can attempt to attack the Nazi if you want. Yes, I will. And that's a hit. Uh, yep, he's shaking again. <laughs> that's enough. So, Brent. <laughs> um, Throw him out the plane. Throw him out the plane. I'm going to... Um, I'll, I'll poke him in the eye. Okay. It's an agility trick. Beat that. I need to get a one on his jealousy, really. Hmm. up to Danny, save the day. Uh, I think he's in the Danny's car. Out in the, in Danny's out in the car out front, waiting for you guys to finish up clowning around in there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Because there was only one guy left, I thought you had finished by now. Media stuff cat isn't driving, like, isn't slowing down or anything. What's she doing? What's she doing? Yeah, she stopped. Basically, they'll have stopped the plane, and Amelia's basically in the car. Do you mean I can walk out of the car, walk up to the door, and just shoot someone? Well, it's okay. not quite as easy as that, because obviously oh, yeah. it's going to be a little bit up in that, so you need to clamber in. And, and it's not like you could just see the Nazi quite easy. You can, as you can see, it'd be like. Three three shapes all scuffling, <laughs> scrawling around in the dark, fighting each other with, with a guy rolling around the floor tied up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lean down, grab my boot knife, and um, stab him. Okay, so minus two. I mean business this time, I forgot the minus two, god damn it, that's a miss. Yep, yeah, that's a miss. Kato. Get him, Kato. Redeem me. Brent's come in and made a complete mess of everything. <laughs> yeah, Kato it off. Well done, sidekick. You kept him busy. Yeah, I was just keeping him busy for you, boss. I'm gonna cut uh, Professor the Professor's bonds. Yep. He'll uh, uh, rub his wrists to get the circulation back in. Uh, oh, 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 thank you. Uh, he's quite a, a fairly, uh, uh, not elderly, but middle-aged guy. A bit of middle-aged paunch there. Uh, oh, I'll have a notice roll. Internal plane notice roll or external plane notice roll? Um, do a notice roll as well, uh, Danny, because it's basically when everything's uh, calmed down. Okay, uh, you'll notice that he spawned a gold ring in the left hand, identical in line to the one that Forsyth thrust into a Sorry, I didn't get that. You'll notice that the is sporting a gold ring on his left, it's identical in design to the one that Forsyth, uh, at the, the game, pushed into Amelia's hands. Yeah. 
the ring okay. that you all forgot about. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know there was yeah. a ring. He thrust, he thrust something into Amelia's hands and said, It's real, find Blumenthal. Ah, yes. I, I only heard the words. I didn't look at the hands. I was looking at the guy who was shooting. Yeah. That's my defense. That's all I'm saying. I asked Blumenthal about the ring. Oh, oh, this, uh, um, just, 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 uh, just an heirloom. Is there any symbols on the ring? <sighs> As you draw attention to his ring, he'll uh, say, "Oh, it's just a, just an old heirloom," and he'll, he'll cover it up. Amelia, see that ring you've got? <laughs> What's it look like? Come on, the voice in my head told me you had a ring. She'll produce the ring. Okay. <laughs> Amelia will produce the ring. Uh, it's basically got like a tree design on it, at which point Blumenthal will look at it and go, oh, okay. And uh, he'll uncover his ring and it will be identical. Poor, poor old Forsyth. Blumenthal will sigh, wiping his glasses on his shirt tail. A great scholar, but a poor field agent. Both he and us of a secret organization known as Meonia. Meonia has been in existence for centuries and has one goal, to safeguard Britain from any threat. Right now, that threat is the Nazis. If what Sir Forsyth said is true, we must get to Rome immediately and find the Palladium. We do know the legend, the Palladium, it was a magical statue of Athena given to the founder of Troy by Zeus. So long as it remained in the city, it would never fall. Sadly, it was stolen by two Greek heroes, and the rest, as they say, is history. So some of our members believe uh, Hitler is seeking the Palladium. Forsyth, with both his words and his death, has confirmed that is true. If Hitler manages to find it and place it in Berlin, he'll no doubt go to war soon after, safe in the belief its power will protect Germany. The man is mad and fascinated with the occult. Our aim is to stop him, bring the Palladium to England for safe storage and study. What, uh, what Hitler doesn't know is exactly where the Palladium is located. That's why he wanted me. I've spent half my life studying its history. History says was taken to Rome at some point, and Hitler knows that, but no one knows where it was housed or what fate befell it. I have an inkling it's in the Pantheon. Ah. Then we should go there and see if we can find it and get it before the Nazis get their filthy hands on it. Absolutely. We'd, we'd better charter a plane and get there quickly. Oh, look, we've got a plane here. <laughs> can you mend the plane uh, you just broke? I... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a few moments to see if I can. No. Wait a minute. I, I may be able... Wait a, minute. Wait a minute. Something might happen here. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think... I think... Wait a minute. It'll take a bit of time. Oh, I pull it. <laughs> cool. Uh, yep, you will be able to fix it. Uh, the pilots will have. The pilot will have uh, surrendered. Uh, he was uh, not uh, any part of the the plot that was going on. They they'd hired the plane, and he was paid good money to just keep quiet. So he doesn't really know what was happening. Fair enough. Well, we have a pilot. Me. Yeah, the and, best and pilot you're there in the as world. a yeah, and and you can be there as a co-pilot as well, there, Brent. <laughs> you know, in the in between the last game and this game, did Brent get a message from Hard Hughes asking where his two planes were? <laughs> uh, yeah, he probably did, but uh, <laughs> we don't worry about that. Cool. I think that that is a good place to leave it for tonight with the. Uh, with you heading away from the exotic locale of, the, of Croydon and heading towards the uh, uh, somewhat more lo exotic location of Rome. Anywhere is more exotic than Croydon, let's face it. 
That's I don't cool. know. Uh, X. There we go. A couple of experience. Oh, I'm not letting Doc have those. He's not getting an advance. Oh, no, he's not sticking it in his advances when he's not here. How does he do that? He's on the, part. on the party sheet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, nice and Aaron, that was loads of fun. Right, yeah, it was.